this is my name is Dipshit Mike. I think John the Magic Guy knows me. Um, of course. So I wanted your opinion on something, and this is actually it's a fact because I guess it came from Crystal's mouth. Did you hear that she um, was prostituting herself on Craigslist for fifty dollars a massage? Did you hear anything about that? Well, is uh, massage prostitution? Well, it was more than a massage. It was more like a hand job kind of thing. But I guess that she almost, and this is coming from her mouth, that she almost got raped anally, and she was screaming, and this guy, like, totally, like, almost raped her, basically. And I guess she continues to charge 50 bucks for a massage just to make money on the side. And I tried to explain to her that this is a very dangerous thing, and I just haven't heard from her, but all this stuff came from her mouth. I was wondering if you heard anything about that. Um, she did mention it. She put she put it on um, a rabbit that she had um, th- that she had been some guy tried to rape her anally, but uh, I didn't not, know that she like to embellish or anything like that or be dramatic about things. So. Uh, if she, if it happened, my God, my heart's with you, Crystal. But uh, knowing Crystal, it, it might not have been as bad as she described. No, well, I guess this guy that almost angrily raped her, I guess he, like, flipped her over and was, like, titty-fucking her or something like that or, like, came on her tits or something. Oh, yeah. And I just, you know, yeah. So if Crystal ever hears this, I just hope she's okay and she's really, like, you know, she's not you know, on Craigslist, because, you know, there's lots of Craigslist killers out there, so I hope she's, you know, smart about all this, if she's really running a legit, you know, massage business. Well, it's not a legit massage anything, because she doesn't have any kind of certifications or training. It's just her rubbing a guy for money. Yeah, but that's not a bad price, 50 bucks, you know. So you would For what? For a massage? <laughs> No, well, 50 bucks for, like, anything goes kind of thing, because, I mean, I guess that's what's been going on. Well, that's just Crystal's own uh, bad business sense, then, because it's it's 50 bucks for the back rub or whatever, and if they want uh, the hand job, 200 bucks. And somebody was, I don't know if it's a rumor, but someone was saying that some guy cummed on her chin, like, had, like, some (laughs) fetish for, like, coming on the chin or something. Well, I just wanted to call and say hey, and I hope Crystal is okay, and I hope she stays safe, and just wanted to say peace and love. 602? Yep. Hello. This is Crystal. Hello. Yep. Crystal. We were just talking about you. I know. Uh, we didn't disparage you. Uh, Mike called in and asked us some questions. Um, are you all right? Um... Dipshit Mike is like officially dead to me now. Like I can't. I don't know why he's doing what he's doing, but whatever. What? What um, do you mean doing what? Well, he called in and like, asked me. Why? To... Why would he call in and start asking questions about this? Like I, it, it's whatever. I'm sorry, John. I didn't mean to cut you off. Would you want to comment, oh. or do you want us to just say, Dipshit Mike, uh, fuck off and mind your own business? Um. Someone had suggested it. Let's just offer massages. I don't know how much massages go for out here. They're, they have they're anywhere between like 40, 50, whatever. So I just put it out there. But I was very, 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 very specific um, when I talked to the person that it was not a sexual thing. It was just a massage, whatever. And it was a dumb idea. It was absolutely stupid. Um, and uh, it just didn't, it didn't um, go well. It, it ended up, you know, he ended up uh, taking liberties, but he did. I was not annually raped. I was not raped. Period. It was. It, there was an attempt, and I screamed, and it stopped. And then, you know, did someone come on your tits? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry, Crystal. Gotcha. And no, I didn't. I I didn't move. I couldn't move. I was just terrified. So I just like. I sent through some shit, like I so I didn't handle it properly, but I'm sorry that you're dealing with this. I'm sorry that we brought it up. And think of I think mean it's of, not you, uh, it wasn't you guys, it was this shit like like that piece of shit is the biggest fucking faggot piece of shit I've ever met in my entire life. Like I hope he dies. And I don't fucking wish that on anybody, but I hope he fucking dies. Because it's like who the fuck does that? Why would you do that? Like why do you 
Why do you wake up in the morning like, how can I fucking just obliterate Crystal today? I haven't even talked to this guy. I've done nothing to him. Like, I don't get it. I just don't fucking get it. I just, I don't, I mean. Andy said that he, <laughs> he sounded concerned. And he, he did sound he did sound concerned. I mean, I don't know. No, I don't know him no, at all. No, 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 okay, no. Okay, I don't know him. Truly, I say this about Lisa, too, because Lisa wants to sit there and she'll talk shit on someone and, and it's supposed to be, like, tough love. If you're really fucking concerned about me, if you really genuinely care about me, you'll fucking contact me privately. You don't go on a fucking podcast no. and, and, and in front of a live audience broadcast that shit. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Like, no. I'm sorry. No, no I... I, I yeah. fuck himself. No, you're right. 